Good morning everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Sandra and let's get on with your daily love reading. Let's see what the message is for today. Hope everyone is doing well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe, comment, share on my videos if they resonate with you. Um, these are general and so they may not resonate with everyone. So just take whatever, whatever does. So what is the message for today? My collective love reading. I have to have them all in the right order. What is the message for today? We've got the Page of Wands. We got the Six of Cups. And we've got the Five of Cups. Ooh, okay. All right. So we've got the Five of Wands. Oh, sorry. Why I say five of wands? Sorry. We've got the two, the page of wands. Hello, page of wands. We've got the six of cups and the five of cups. Okay. So what I see right now, what's happening is that um, a new beginning may start or you may have a message, uh, somebody coming in, someone new because the page is always about um, a very young or new energy coming through. So it's either a younger person maybe coming through um, with an offering. It could also be someone who's not necessarily younger but um, who's got a very young energy, very enthusiastic, ready to embark on something new. Um, so let's see if there's any more messages for the page of wands. Uh, it could also be you, you know, wanting a new start, a new beginning um, with someone or someone wanting a new start or a beginning with you, maybe to start from scratch, you know. Yep, exactly. So as I was saying, um, the beginning, a birth, uh, it could also mean um, like a new kind of enterprise, okay? Something new coming in, but um, since this is a love reading, I would say that probably someone new coming in, and if we see with the Six of Cups, look, I love this card. It's such a beautiful card. Look, he's offering, he's offering. Um, it's an offer of love, most probably, or, you know, it could be of a strong friendship or, anyway, it's the beginning of something. Here we go. And then with the Five of Cups, we see someone here that's not, really entirely satisfied with what's going on in their lives right now. They are um, mostly looking at what's been lost and not looking at the what they still have. Okay, so looking at what's been lost. Not looking at what they say, ha see, that they have still. Okay. Um, so what I'm getting here is that there may be a new offer uh, of love coming through for you or you may be wanting to offer someone something but either you or them are not quite ready okay um, there's maybe something blocking uh, this from happening let's see I'll look at the six of cups Um, so again here for the six of cups for this one um, we have giving new relations 
uh, new relations, new knowledge, new environment. And we see here that there's a lot of enjoyment and happiness in this card. Yeah. And then with the Five of Cups, it is, um, it's a card of loss, but really something remains over. Three have been taken, but two are left. It's the card, it's a card of inheritance also, it could also be. But mostly, um, it is a card of, there's some bitterness underlying this card. And so, let's go and see with my other deck here what we can get a message about the Five of Cups and see what that's about. Let's see if there are any messages in here. Oh, we've got impatience. Someone is being impatient about this love offering, or somebody is waiting for a love offering and it's not coming. And we have enlightenment. Wow. So guys, um, let's see what I'm getting here is about this person here, which is, it, it may be you or it may be the person that's coming towards you, but, or the person that's coming towards you is still very hesitant. They're hesitating on coming forward. This is also what I, I'm getting for some of you, is that this person, whoever it is that you're waiting for an offering, is really, really not ready, okay? And so with that comes impatience for some, for some. Um, this is the blue card. These are, this is kind of my, one of my newest decks, so I'm learning, learning it. So. Your desire to create may overpower the necessity of aligning with divine timing. The time to shine will, will come. Move with the energy and not in front of it. Being present has its own reward. And guys, there is something to be said about divine timing. You know, we are impatient, you know, some of us, for things to happen quickly, let's go, you know, but... It doesn't always work out that way, and sometimes it's 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 mostly in our favor when things don't happen exactly at the time that you want it to happen. So try to remember that. Uh, we have uh, the Enlightenment card, which speaks for itself. I mean, you are going through something right now, or someone you know is going through something, and um, they are coming out now. The opportunity to make an enlightened decision is inherent in Topaz. A journey of true destiny is the vibrational energy here. Your experience will guide others. My feeling is this. This is, this is my feeling. My feeling is that there is someone wanting to come through with an offering Either you're not ready or they're not quite, quite ready. And one of you is being very impatient about it. And the other one is waiting for enlightenment. <laughs> okay? The other person is waiting for um, the um, enlightenment to come through. So, it should end up... I'm reading a really weird, this is a really weird thing that's happening, you guys. And someone is really wanting to come through here. They're just really confused about a lot of things. And it's making you very impatient. But I think that there's something that someone is not saying right here. And then once you find out whatever it is, enlightenment will come. So this could be true for some of you, maybe not all, but this is what I'm getting to, this energy of there's something that's being kept from you and, and you'll, you'll find out about it pretty soon, actually. Okay? So anyway, guys, that's your reading for today. Thank you um, for watching, and I'll see you soon.
バイバイ。